Well, we've seen uh, yesterday the president was in Bomet. He issued uh, several threats to the protesters. He said that uh, this is the last warning he's giving these people. It will not be business as usual. So we, we hope that they have been killing a lot of people. Maybe he's planning to kill more. I don't. I do not understand. The ma many people have been uh, missing. Uh, have been being abducted. Uh, a lot of stuff is going on. Uh, and uh, if as if that is not enough, we have lost lives. Uh. The president yesterday his statement was very reckless. Uh, I think you can just listen to what he said here. President William Ruto has today dared unnamed persons he has described as faceless, formless and anonymous anarchists sponsoring mayhem in the country to step forward and face him with alternatives, saying time for the violent protests has come to an end. In a sudden departure from a conciliatory tone, the president adopted a tough stance, saying he has already conceded enough to the Gen Z demand. Man's. Citizen TV's political affairs reporter Emmanuel To has details. In his first appearance since naming his first 11 squad to the cabinet on Friday, President William Ruto Sunday attended a church service at Africa Gospel Church in Chebango Sotik constituency in Bomet County. Oh, It is here that the president switched to a combative tone, taking the battle to proponents of the recent anti-government protests. I want to challenge those who are sponsoring, orchestrating, funding this violence to step forward and give us their alternative views on how to take Kenya forward. They must not remain anonymous. They must not remain formless or faceless, they must step forward. We cannot surrender our democracy to faceless, formless, anonymous anarchists. And even after the church service, the head of state stepped out his guns blazing, firing at the Gen Z's, saying he had considered enough from them. Walisema to sipitisha finance bill. Mimi ni mewacha finance bill. Nikawaita wakanasema awataki kuja kusumuza na mimi. Wakaniambia niende huko kwa X. Mimi nikaenda kwa X. Wakatoroka huko wa wako kukweko. Wakaniambia tuitishe mazungumzo. Nimeitisha mazungumzo wamekata. Nimewambia wanaendelea kusema wao ni faceless, wao ni formless. Sijui wako nini. Mimi nimewambia sasa my friends. You know, I have given a chance to everybody to say whatever they want. You know, it cannot continue like this. Ruto stating that he will not bow to any further pressure. Going forward, we will protect the nation. Going forward, we will protect the nation. We will protect life. We will protect property. We will stop the looters. I want to promise you it's going to stop. Enough is enough. The remarks come two days after Ruto named half of his cabinet, reinstating six of the former CSs he had unceremoniously fired a week earlier. They cannot continue to be nameless. They cannot continue to be formless. They cannot continue to be anonymous. Let them step forward and tell us what is this violence going to achieve in the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> The cabinet had been dissolved against the backdrop of youth-led protests that started mid last month and faced with the prospects of planned protests. President Ruto has drawn the line in the sand, saying there will be no more concessions. Emmanuel To, Citizen TV. So he claims that uh, the Gen Zs have snubbed his talks of them having a dialogue and saying go ahead, going forward, it will not be business as usual as the Gen Z's think or as the protesters think. The president said that enough is enough. He will protect the nation and stop looters from looting property and destroying property. Uh, so if I may ask Mr. President, uh, what of the lives that uh, we've lost? Life is, uh, property is more important than lives. 
the looters who are looting in government uh, billions and billions those ones are okay just this down people is why you say they are looters i do not understand and more so we all know that the goons who are looting the businesses are the hired people by the malicious politicians that we have so the president said that on sun on you said on sunday that moving forward he will protect the nation and he has already given everybody a chance in the airwaves to view to air their views and it is over now from today it means what the president was saying yesterday is that from today if they find you on, on media or anywhere anything protesting doing what you, are, you i think that is be, will be the end of you that's what the president is trying to say i think that's what i understood you understand so this, the president was speaking in bomet in after church service and i was very uh, 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 when i saw the president saying that he want to build more churches yet we have a, a cbc school a cbc education whereby we have junior secondary school where we have not even constructed those classes those classrooms you understand we have not constructed those the classes yet you are focusing to construct churches that's what you are telling us so i think ruto has understood that there is a lot of fools in the churches fools are flooded in the churches that's why he whenever there is an issue with his administration he runs to churches he say he will donate he will build this he'll do them for them so that these people because they are the older generations so they will be able to uh, tell their young ones not to go to the streets that's why church is a, a bigger problem for the progress of this nation that one is what i should say and it's a fact you if you are religious there is no problem church is the big problem in this country you should know that that's why ruto knows it is the weak point for him to continue speaking spewing whatever he's talking about so he said that he dropped the bill he called them on x he the, you see if you are a president you do not go to x to speak what are you going to speak we needed to see action but the action we saw when people are protesting you killed a lot of people that, that is what we saw a lot of people have lost their lives so what do you need we do not need dialogue we do not need anything we need just the uh, right functional systems in this country we do not need ignorance this kind of government is very ignorant and uh, they do not care they are just there to suit their egos and enrich themselves and do whatever they like and they talk they hit it it back at us that we are useless so they should uh, overtax us so that they can live good life that's what we know because we are seeing nothing is working on but we see them flossing with cash Every, every everywhere so what i think this kind of government has failed odm is not uh, an option either because uh, they have showed us that they are also interested in eating they do not care anything that's what the orange democratic movement has shown the people so the president has fired a warning to the gen z's that going forward he is going not going to entertain them understand he wanted dialogue to to so that people can advise him how to rule how wh how did you ask for the job first in the first place if you do not know how to rule oh yeah that's what i can ask why do you want dialogue you have the instruments of power you have everything to do whatever it takes to make sure that the country moves forward the only thing Ruto is working hard is to make sure that his Western masters, who are the United States, they are served. They, whatever their demands are, he serves them. Like they told him to send police to Haiti, he sent them. So he is not working for the Kenyan people. This guy is working for the Western masters who put him there. He's saying that he will protect the nation. Like going forward, we will protect the nation we will protect lives we will 
that we will protect lives is something that is very strange coming from this president because uh, they have shot people who had no guns, people who had nothing. We have seen the videos are there. Everything is online. We have seen whatever, it, even in the colonial era, it was not happening this, this way. You shoot people who have nothing. In colonial era, people are having arms. But now here, you shoot people who have nothing. So he said we will protect property, stop looters, stop killers. He, 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 this guy, whatever he's talking, is very funny. How will you stop killers and you are the one who is abducting people, shooting people, and killing people? It's very funny. You will stop mayhem, mayhem. You will stop mayhem, and yet you and your politicians, you are hiring goons to disrupt the peaceful protests. It's very funny also. We will stop mayhem because it is a democracy. Democracy, yet you are shooting people when they are demanding for their democratic right that their system should work. They put you there democratically so that the system should work, but you are ignoring it and overtaxing them. This very this statement, whole statement, when you read it, uh, when you listen to whatever this guy is saying, you feel very, very, very sad. So Ruto said that the protesters had their leaders, and their leaders have failed to tell the country their end game and destruction of property and death of lives. He's the one killing people. They are the one hiring goons to destruct property. So whatever is speaking is on his own side. I want to promise you that it is going to stop. Enough is enough. The president told the public outside the church. You see, he knows where to go to speak these kind of things. In the village churches, whereby people they are not informed. That is uh, another thing that I have realized. He knows what he's doing. This is the present staff and most warnings to the protesters since the demonstration started. I think uh, what has gone into his head is that because he knows that he, he realizes on his side and he has seen how ODM and peace are fighting for him, they are not against him. Now he can talk the way he wants. I think ODM and UDA are going to sink further and be forgotten in this kind of country. We will never have this kind of parties again. So, the warning is also comes days after President Ruto picked some of the cabinet members, including reinstating Kindiki and Dwale. He has also made rough changes in police and major re reorganization with protests saying that they will be in the streets this week. You know, the protesters have said they will be continue protesting. They don't want this government. And uh, they believe that uh, the president has failed. His government has failed. I heard some people are saying that if Ruto go, I saw Badi saying if Ruto goes, Gachaga will become president. The whole UDA and ODM government should leave. That's what the people are claiming. We don't want only Ruto to go. We want everyone to leave this scene. Because they have failed. They are arrogant. These people are they are they are not capable to con to grow the economy of this country they are not ready to do anything for the nation of kenya and so me what i can say is that uh, they have failed because now you killed people you you pretended to suck the cabinet you returned them you see these guys are playing with us and uh, it's very unfortunate uh, whatever is going on they have no comeback. Raila, Ruto, and all these people, they have no comeback. They have already messed up. And when ODM tried, he had already moved to UDA, they are already done. The people will no longer listen to ODM, will be listened to by only Luo Nyanza. And UDA is done. So, what I can say is that uh, whatever the remarks the president said yesterday, at the church function they were very bad and uh, they show that he's ready to continue killing people the way they have been killing people abducting them shooting them and doing the protesters have already been some are lost we cannot find them and so what i believe is that uh, we need to wake up as kenyans and know why are we here why are we where we are right now what happened so that we have this kind of leaders because in the whole a, a legislative assembly 
Kenya National Assembly. I cannot see any competent leader in that uh, parliament. We have none. All of them are uh, just the most useless leadership that we have ever had in this country. These people are just there for themselves. They do not care about the future of the country. Like you see the cabinet that Ruto sacked and he has reinstated. When they go to parliament, they will vet these people and approve them as well. That's why I'm telling you, the legislature is captive. The president is captive to the Western agendas. You understand? Yeah, so what I believe it is uh, whatever is going on is not good for the future of this country. And uh, we cannot sit here and wait for these people to, to kill the dreams of this country to make sure that the future generations have nothing to smile about. We should not let that happen. The time is now to make sure that this thing ends. If Ruto was ready to solve the issues that people raised, he would have gotten a real cabinet. You understand? He will not go to Raila. He will just check. We see competence. Bring competent people in the cabinet. And do not control the parliament. Let the parliament do their work. Because if the, leg the executive is controlling the legislature, it means we have no parliament there. That's what we, we, we all know. We shall not be able to have better policies. Because whatever the president thinks is the right way for himself, they will be passing it. They will be passing it. It means uh, we are doomed if we are in that kind of state. When the, And in fact, all the MPs now are on the side of Ruto. The ODM, the UDA, Ford Kenya, every every party, it is part of it is now supporting Ruto because they have united. They know that the the if the ongoing protests come continue, they will be doomed. They will have to their their power will be gone. So they want to unite so that they can crush this mess that is ongoing. So that they can eliminate more people. That's what they think. That's why ODM is now with Ruto. And Ruto has now come out to make sure that to tell us that he is going to deal with these people in a way that they will never forget these protesters. So that kind of threat shows that the ODM has made him to grow horns and uh, uh, he is now uh, a threat to the lives of the Kenyans. Both the parties and the people in the government the police, everyone now on the side of the government is an enemy of the state. That's what I can tell. And so let us see what is going on and uh, we will keep you updated. Uh, so just uh, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the notification button. Make sure to follow us up. In case you have anything you want us to talk, in case you have any notification, just drop the comment below or you can write us an email. You can also check out our website. We have uh, nyongesasande.com. It's our official website. Uh, we have news there. If you, In case you need your own biography, you need anything, we can write for you there. And so let us keep moving and we believe that uh, things are going to change in this country and uh, we will move forward. We are not ready to see the country sink by these vultures that are in, in the government. Thank you guys and just uh, see you in our next video.